Hello everyone. Welcome back to my math channel and online today again. So today in this video, I will share with you about the finding the exact value of the ratio of sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant or secant from the trigonometry angles. So in order to understand and be able to answer this question on the board, we have to review a little bit about the basic knowledge. So first, you already learned everything about the psi, cosine and tension. And you know the three primary trigonometry value ratio on your calculator as well. Now, um, the, the review part is we talk about the inverse of psi, which is cosecant, which is this denote as CSC cosecant, right? And the inverse of cos will be secant, denote as SEC here, secant. And the inverse of 10 will be cot, C-O-T. And what do we mean inverse? Inverse mean the function will twisting the top and the bottom, right? So if you have a numerator divided by denominator, now inverse of it will be bring the denominator up top and numerator back down, right? So that's the inverse mean. Now, let's talk about the first question here. Find the exact value of cosecant. One more thing I would like to mention. So we have to know the inverse of trigonometry function. Also, we need to know about some kind of special triangle, right? Because everything is based on the ratio of the special triangle. So let's review that part. If you have a triangle, dry triangle of dry side isosceles triangle, then each angle here is 45 degree, right? And in radian, 45 degree is the same like pi over four. Now, because these two angles are equal, so therefore the opposite side of them are also equal. And we, in, we, we use a basic unit, right? From here to here is the length of one as well. From here to up here is the length of one. We can say two and two, three and three, but why bother? Because we're talking about ratio, so we want to choose the easy one and basic number. So let assign this length is one and one, right? So we know that if we look at this, the hypotenuse here is apply the Pythagorean theorem, one square at one square, right? C square equal A square plus B square, this is square root two. So this ratio is always true. And the fact, and therefore we should memorize them and the way we memorize this ratio is very easy. We know that if it is the 45 degree angle, then these two sides have an equal side of length of basic one, which is one. And therefore by Pythagore theorem, we know this is square root two for the hypotenuse. So if we're talking about the side of 45 degree or pi over four degree radian, the side of it is opposite over hypotenuse, which is one over square root two. Now, another special triangle you should know is the 30 degree angle and 60 degree angle. In radian, 30 degree equal pi over six, and in radian, 60 degree equal pi over three. And opposite with the 30 degrees on way the unit one opposite to 60 degree on way square root three. And therefore this hypotenuse will be equal one square at three square root three square, which is three, which is four. And square root of four is two. So this is two, right? So if they ask you, what is the sign of 30 degree here? On what you do, look at the diagram and say, Psi equal opposite over hypotenuse. So psi of 30 degree is one over two. Cos of 60 degree is adjacent 
over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2 as well. But cos of 30 degree will be square root 3 over 2. So that's, these are the exact value we can, and that is the exact value of ratio of these trigonometry values in the tri uh, trigonometry angles. Okay. So now let's answer the first question here. Find the exact value of cosecant of minus 27 pi over 4. Now, because this is more than one location, it's a big angle, right? And we don't want to answer in a big angle with so many rotations. So we narrow down as the co-terminal angle in the previous lesson I have shown you. Because the co-terminal angle has the same ratio they have the same terminal arm, so they have the same ratio of trick. And therefore, if they give you a big angle, then try to divide by so many rotations and choose the co-terminal angle to get the smallest positive angle, right? So how do we get that? Now, the formula to find the co-terminal is the angle theta itself and subtract with and rotation times with two pi, right? So let's say your angle theta here is minus 27 pi over four. Now to get the smallest value, you wanna add in instead of subtract, you're gonna add, right? Opposite side, so you get small angle. And let's say you wanna choose four rotation, uh, sorry, two rotation, which is four pi, um, so let's say, or you can choose three rotation as well. Let's say if you add this with 24 pi over four. Now 24 divided by four is six pi, which is three rotation, right? Six pi. So you add to this value, your angle, called terminal angle will become minus 3 pi over 4. And therefore, to find the exact value ratio of this angle, on what we do is draw this angle into the unit circle. And let's say you have a circle like this. This side is pi over 2. We start from 0. This is pi on the way from here. And down here is 3 pi over 2, right? Now you want the angle minus 3 pi over 4. So each section here is a pi over 2. You want pi over 4, you divide this by half. Right? And this is the angle in a negative direction all the way from here to here is minus pi over 4. And you want minus 3 pi over 4, so that's 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4. And minus 3 pi over 4 is this angle. So all the way from here to here is minus 3 pi over 4. That is the coterminal angle, which is the same ratio of this angle, right? So now to find this, on what you do is draw a straight line from a right triangle to the axis, right? To this axis, draw a straight line, right? So the little angle here is the reference angle, which is pi over four, is the ratio of the angle in standard position minus three pi over four, okay? And we want to find the exact value. It means we're talking about the ratio. So let's look at this ratio. This is pi over 4. Opposite pi over 4 is minus 1 because this line is negative on the y-axis, right? So this is minus 1. Instead of 1, like this, it would be minus 1. And the sign is also minus 1. So the ratio for the cosecant, which is opposite the secant, uh, with sine, right? So let's say you're talking about the sine, you're talking about opposite over hypotenuse, but you're talking about cosecant will be opposite, which is hypotenuse over opposite. 
And by hypotenuse over opposite, z squared of 2 for hypotenuse over opposite, which is minus 1. So the answer will be minus square root 2. Okay? So the answer for this angle, for the value of this angle, will be the exact value, right, of this cosecant, cosecant of minus 27 pi over 4 equal minus square root 2 or, my, or square root 2 over minus 1 which is the same thing okay so that's how we answer the question a talk about the 10 of 660 degree the Do rotation, right? Do rotation for the two uh, complete rotation one, four, and two, right? Is three sixty times two, which is seven hundred twenty. So if we add this with two complete, but take away instead of adding, right? Take away seven hundred twenty degree two complete full rotation. The answer will be 60 degree, right? 660 minus this will be minus 60 degree actually, right? This is supposed to be minus. So minus 60 degree is the answer for coterminal angle. So let's do that. Minus 60 degree. Let's do the question B here. So minus 60 degree is also this way as well. So here is 180, right? 180. Let's talk about 80 degree now, uh, the degree now. So this is 180. If you divide this by three section, right? Three section. One. Three, right? Then the x angle here is 60 degree, right? And this should be minus because in this direction, right? Minus 60 degree. So to find the exact value, you all what you do is draw a straight line from here to here, right? And apply this triangle into here, right? So 60 degree, the, the side will be one. Right, the side and opposite the 30 degree, which is one here, and opposite 60 degree, so this is negative 60 degree, and opposite with negative 60 degree is minus square root 3, right, it's from here. But because in the four quadrants, so we know this is the side of the negative y, right? So this number has to be minus square root 3. So now if we want to find 10, 10 equal opposite over actually 10. Oh, sorry. 10 equal, um, yeah, that's right, opposite over actually 10. So opposite is minus square root 3 minus square root 3 over actually sin is 1. So this answer is just minus square root 3. And that is the answer for this. The exact value of 10 660 degree is this one. Minus square root 3 is the answer. So let's do the next one. The next is cosecant of 1, 1, 2, 5. So what is the biggest rotation of 1, 1, 2, 5? Let's do three full rotation. 360 times 3 equals 1080, right? Yeah. So now if we take away this number 1, 1, 2, 5 minus three full complete rotation, um, what do we get? We get 5, 12 minus 8 is 4. 
So we get 45 degree. And positive 45 degree is the coterminal angle. So the theta are equal 45 degree, right? Um, so if we use this and do our little diagram for this question, we will have 45 degree in the positive direction will be here. This is the angle, half of 90 degree, right? This is 90 degree, half of it, 45 degree. And 45 degree, you draw a straight line down to the axis, you got a right triangle like that, and apply this triangle, right? You get one in here and one here, they both positive one and this square root two. So the exact value for the coterminal angle in 45 degree here, which is the same like this angle, right? And we want to find cosecant, right? We don't want to find um, psi. Now cosecant is opposite with psi. Psi is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosecant is this thing, right? Psi equal opposite over hypotenuse. But cosecant will be twisting, the top become a bottom, the bottom become the top. So hypotenuse on the top, opposite at the bottom, hypotenuse is square root two, and the opposite is one. So the answer for this is square root two. And positive is square root two. So that's the exact value of this angle. So we're done with this question. Now let's go to the last, the next question for this. So this is similar, it just dry it in a different way, right? So on what we do, we just look at this, say two, the answer will be two, whatever the, the expression is. Now we find out what is the exact value of 10 pi over six. So 10 pi over six. So pi over six, is pi over six. So this the whole thing here is pi, right? If you divide by three section, three section here, three section here is six section, right? So you divide this by three section. And this angle here is from here to here is pi over six angle, right? Because three this side and three this side. So the pi here we divide by six section, three here and three here, right? Basically, if I draw another angle, it'll look like that, and another one here, another one here like that, right? So now let's look at the exact value of pi over six here. 10 pi over six is opposite over after sen, an opposite of pi over six, which is 30 degree, which is one, and this is square root three, right? By Spencer triangle, one and square root three, right? So opposite with pi over six is one, right? See the same like pi over six, this angle, right? The same. So one over square root three is 10, opposite over adjacent. So 10 pi over six for the top would be two times one over square root three. Divided the bottom would be one minus 10 square pi over six, which is the same of this number, but we square it. And square of one is one, but square of square root three is three, right? So now, we calculate it, this will be two over square root three divided by, let two common denominator here. Z times three, three minus one is two over three. So for this answer, it will be two over square root three divided by the fraction by multiply with the fraction upside down so the two will cancel with the two, right? And the answer is three over square root three. 
So that's the answer for this question after we calculate. So that's the answer. I hope you follow me, right? Um, now let's do cosecant of pi over six. Again, cosecant is the opposite with sine, and sine is one over square root three, cosecant will be square root three. So we have square root three, and remember this is square, so we have to square this number, right? Minus cot of pi over six. Now cot is the opposite of 10, right? And 10 equal opposite over adjacent. So cot will be the other way around, right? Upside down will be adjacent over opposite. So that's the cot. And the adjacent is square root three or pi over six, right? Square root three over one. So that will be minus square root three over one. And again, square root three over one will be square as well because we want cot, right? So let's look at this number exactly the same. Cosecant of pi over six is cosecant is opposite over hypotenuse. Sorry, this should be two. So cosecant is opposite over hypotenuse. So that should be over two, actually, right? And if we square all of them, so for this number will be cosecant is, what I'm doing? The cosecant for pi over six, the side is one over two. So the cosecant is opposite, which is two over one. Oh, I think my mind is lost, I'm sorry for this. Okay, let's do it again. So this is the opposite of psi, right? And psi is pi over six is one over two, right? But cosecant will be two over one. So now two over one will be square. Minus cot of pi over six is adjacent over opposite, which is square root three, is that right? So this will be equal to four, minus three, and four minus three equal one. So the answer is one, right? Square this is four, square this is three, so four minus one is three. So this is the answer for this question. So one is the answer. Okay, so now let me um, continue with our next question. So we done on find the value, exact value of this angle. The second question now asks you to do the opposite. Given the exact value asks you to find the angle. So the so next again. step, we're going to answer the second question. Now in the second question, the question is reversed. They give you the ratio of the angle and they ask for us, they ask us to find out the angle in standard position if it has the ratio of minus square root three over two like this. What kind of angle is that? Is that pi over four, pi over six, or you know, like any kind of what, what kind of angle is that 45 degree or 60 degree or you know? So that is the question. So the psi x here is the ratio of the trig value, the psi of this angle. And the angle here is the angle x, this angle x. And we wanna find out what is our angle x if given the ratio like that. First, you have to recognize this is the negative ratio. So where do we draw the diagram of the negative ratio? Do we draw in the first quadrant here, or second quadrant here, or three quadrant here, or four quadrant here, right? So first, let me remember the first quadrant will be positive for all the trig values, psi, cos, tension of all the angles. So that's why the, the letter A stands for 
A stands for on positive. The S stands for if you want to find out the positive sign of ratio of positive, then the sign will be in second quadrant. And the positive ratio will be 10 in the positive for the quadrant three. And positive for close ratio will be in quadrant four. So ASTC in counterclockwise direction. ASTC, right? So on positive, sign positive, 10 positive, close positive. Now we have sign negative. So obviously we're not going to draw in this quadrant because the Z negative is not positive. So it's got to be this quadrant or this quadrant, right? Not here and not here for this ratio value. And remember, we're talking about the opposite of mine of square root three will be 60 degree angle, which is this way. So if we draw it, it will be uh, 60 degree. So that will be this way. So this angle here is in the third quadrant would be the 60 degree angle, right? The 60 degree angle in here, or pi over three in here. Okay, so this angle here is pi over three. Now that will be opposite with pi over three will be negative square root three and the hypotenuse two, right? The special triangle, we relate it back. So now we know that to find the angle of, and if we count this way, we'll count uh, one pi over three, two pi over three, three pi over three, four pi over three. So this angle here is four pi over three, okay? Because we start from zero and we count by the arrow of the angle in standard position, right? So count this way, you get one pi over three here, right? And then two pi over three here, and here three pi over three, down here four pi over three. So the angle x here will be equal, based on this ratio, will be four pi over three. Is there another one with the same ratio with, um, of the angle x with the same ratio? There will be another one on the quadrant four, which is this one here, right? And this one here will have the same operational value, which is minus square root three and two right here, right? And this angle is minus five root three. So if we count from the positive direction, it will be all the way from here to this terminal end. And this will be four pi over three, five pi over three, five pi over three. So the x will be from four pi over three and five pi over three as well. Because at this terminal m, we will have two of them with the same value of minus square root three over two, which is the first is this angle, right? The first arrow on the from here here with this terminal m. The second is this one to this terminal m. So this is a 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. They will have the negative ratio of the sine minus square root 3 over 2. So the answer is 2 of them for the question 2a. Let's do the question 2b. And 2b, probably, we're talking about the cos, right? Because secant is opposite of cos 1 over cos n. So let's talk about the negative cos. The negative cos is the A, S, T, C. So in this will be positive cos, but the negative cos will be in this quadrant and this quadrant. And it's minus two over square root three. Um, so we're talking about the square root three again, so it will be this angle again. Um, so this is one pi over three, and this is two pi over three. And two pi over three. Mm 
we have this one is pi over three, opposite pi over three is uh, square root. No, then this has to be pi over six, sorry. We're talking about pi over six, the problem because we're talking about the coast, right? So for the space of triangle, the pi over six will be this triangle. No, so. So opposite with pi was six here, right? The cos of, this is 60 degrees, so this cos will be minus square root three this way. And this is two, and this is one. So the first angle will be on the way to this terminal M, right? To here, this angle. This angle here is, um, the whole thing here is pi. Minus the little pi over six. That will be five pi over six. So this angle here at this m terminal m will be five pi over six, and that will have a value of the secant is hypotenuse over abscissae. So two over minus square root three, which is this one. So the angle x here will be equal to five pi over six. If we want the ratio like this, right? Now, is there another one with the same ratio? Of course, there will be another one this way as well. And it will look like this, something like this, right, this way. And again, the rather right triangle this way. And with the same ratio, minus square root three here, and two down here. So this angle will be pi, ending with pi over six, which is seven pi over six. And it go all the way from here to here, right? So, to this terminal M here. So in the standard position, we we'll set an arrow like this. With the same ratio of secant of x is minus two over square root three will be seven pi over six. So therefore, to answer here for the question two. So I hope that you follow me. All what you have to do is to answer this question, try to remember um, the Spencer triangle, because only Spencer triangle give you the exact value ratio, right? And then refer back to Spencer triangle when you draw the diagram. Make sure you draw the straight line from the reference angle, right? Draw a straight line from terminal M down to the x axis, okay? It's always the case like this, okay? And always count by the reference angle. Don't, don't, some, some student before they draw, I think that they draw wrong in the opposite direction. So make sure you remember to draw the straight line from terminal M down to the axis level, okay? To form the Spencer triangle and write out the exact value from the Spencer triangle. So I hope that this video will help you to answer on the practice exercise I will upload in our pre-calculus math 12 um, for the um, July term. I will open the course to all the students around the world and please register to my math course online. Um, if, and depend on the register number of students. I hope that you will find this course is very valuable, very detailed and help you a lot when you learn in the school. Uh, you know, you can take my course, the full course and get the certificate, international certificate.
okay? I hope that you will join our school online. And um, if you still confused and you don't have any question, you can book the Zoom in advance to ask me. So I hope you enjoy. And um, so this is the second question, and that's how we answer. Next video will be about the, I think I might have another video about the angles, but also I plan to help you to scatter trigonometric ratio for um, the sketching sinusoidal function, right? How to sketch the wave, the periodic sine and cosine and tangent. And the interesting part about that is the application of it, right? So as long as you, the math is getting more and more interesting if you get deep into the, the topic lesson. And sometimes you feel it boring because you think that it's not applied, but actually you have to learn all the theory before you apply it to the solve the word problem. And then that will be interesting. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, everybody, and bye for now.